Hey guys, welcome back to Dunny's Gaming. Hope you're all doing well. And uh, more World of Warships for you today. So we are out in the Tier 9 American battleship, the Iowa. We've uh, acquired ourselves some flash new camo. So uh, we've got it mounted. It does give us some command, uh, a lot more commander experience points per game. We have managed to get ourselves up to the B-Hull now on the Iowa, giving us the uh, additional, I think it's 10,900 points of health. And uh, yeah, we're going to uh, go ahead and uh, see whether we can do some serious damage and get some, get ourselves, bag ourselves some kills. It was a good game. Hope you're going to all enjoy this one. As always, guys, hope you're enjoying the videos. Apologies, it's been a little while. I've uh, been a little bit busy with uh, being at the Gulag at work, and uh, but I have got some videos coming up, so there should be a plentiful supply of a few. We've got, uh, I've got a couple of Leon matches. I've got a Missouri match. There's some Destroyer matches. So there's plenty coming up on the channel. As always, if you're enjoying the videos, let me know in the comments. Obviously, like and subscribe to the channel if you've not been here before. Welcome. And we are going to head over to the ACAP and support our destroyer. And see whether we can spot anyone on the way here. Obviously, the introduction just lately of the French battleships, there's one the Tier 9 Alsace. I am working my way through the uh, French battleship line. It is uh, quite a strong line, apart from, well, seems to be apart from the tier eight ratio U, which I've got next, uh, is a little bit, a little bit of an odd one. Um, but the Alsace and uh, the now renamed Republic are very, very strong, which I can uh, guarantee you now. And there you go, nine thousand nearly from the Alsace there. Uh, just seems to have a real big punching power in terms of uh, the shell velocity, and doesn't tend to s tend to matter what angle you give them. They seem to be able to get you know relatively good penetration damage regardless. So we've got Baltimore's popped up. I'm going to get some shots on the Baltimore as he's sailing across the front of this uh, cap. Uh, obviously, he's a risk to my uh, for the Mayan because uh, he's got radar. So. Obviously, the Mayans disengaging and bailing, which isn't, uh, which is what I would have done. And there we go. There's the Leon. So that's uh, that will be featuring in uh, and some upcoming videos I've got to uh, plan. Obviously, he's uh, two tiers below the tier that we're playing at, so uh, he's gonna have a hard time. As you can see, everybody shooting at him, including me. Why not? They're not too bad, 7,000. And the enemy Benson's popped up, so we're trying to keep an eye on him. Obviously, there's going to be torpedoes coming this way from him. The York and the Alsace here are working him over, though, which is what we want to see. I'm going to see if I can get a cheeky shot on him here once my guns have reloaded, as long as he stays spotted, obviously. But uh, doing some serious damage to this guy. And yeah, that could have been better. Well, we hit was C. Not to worry. We've avoided them torpedoes, as has the Yacht and the Mayan, so they've not done any damage to anyone. And the Baltimore, I, just, I don't know what this guy's doing, if I'm honest with you. I don't see this kind of thing with people in Baltimore's or Des Moines very often, because they've tended to have to grind their way up to uh, this tier of cruiser. And I mean, him sitting uh, stationary, or oh, the Leon's got me just avoid the torpedoes. Sitting stationary at the entrance of a cap, uh, not really sure what this guy's decision making was but 14 and a half thousand damage we'll take that full penetration almost not a citadel but he ain't gonna last very long taking shots like that I just want to be mindful of the Alsace he seems to have uh, got himself to the edge of the cap well the edge of the uh, opening of A at that side and then bottled it I think and it's just stopped so our rear tourists have just come round as well another shot out could have been better. And uh, we've got a Megami who's broadsiding right in front of us. Yeah, another, no idea what this guy's doing either. Because that is the squishiest ship there is. And everybody's going to want to shoot at him, including me, because his hull's made of cheese. And uh, even getting hit with a slight breeze is going to be a citadel. So any shot that's going to be on target is uh, going to do some serious damage. Oh, 
Well, well, unfortunately our shots were not on target. But I did promise you this is going to be a, a good game. I'm not going to let you down. And we've managed to be set on fire by the Megami. Not very happy about that, but we're not going to waste our uh, damage repair on that. And it looks like he's going to give us a broadside. Because we can heal a lot, we can heal a lot of this fire damage back, so that's not going to be too much of a problem. And uh, yeah, shots just went over him, so I'm still zeroing in. To be honest, you play different ships. You go from the Leon to the Iowa, and then you play a couple of Shimakaze games. And then you might play a North Carolina game. You know, you do tend to lose. Uh, I tend to just takes me a little bit of time just to zero in when I'm swapping ships. But I'm going to try and. Um, We've got our team to the south, no, to the uh, west of us. I'm going to try and create a bit of a crossfire and, and head into the opening uh, on this side of A and see if I can create a bit of a crossfire. If these guys push in to take on my guys, they'll uh, they'll all be broadside to me. So we're running on 42,000 damage, not spectacular, and we've still not killed anyone yet. So yeah, Donny, why have you put this video on and said it's going to be a good game? You'll like it. Well. Just give me a chance, bear with me. I enjoyed it, it was a good game. I thought it was worthy of being shared on the channel. So that's why it's being shared. And I assure you, I played tens of hundreds of games over and over and over before I find several games that were, uh, I think, well, that was a good game, I really enjoyed that. I think uh, the guys on the channel will enjoy that one. So it takes me a little while. Of capturing games before we find one that we like. We're getting, sh you know, we are detected, so we can last spotted. You see the low yangs just around the corner on the edge of that island. So we're not spotted anymore. Fighter airborne. Obviously, the difference between this and uh, the Missouri is just that you don't get radar um, like you do with the Missouri, which. Is a big bonus. Look, that Megami with his broadside again. And still, we can't do any penetration damage. Two over penetrations. That's not going to get the job done. It looks like the Baltimore's coming back this way. The Alsace's had enough, he's going. Uh, the Megami's obviously going to be sending torpedoes this way, that's why he's giving us a broadside. And that's the only reason the Megami be giving you a broadside, because he's sending his torpedoes. Come on, dispersion! Fatality! Yeah, okay. See? Told you it was made of citadels. I had enough shots at it. Throw enough shit at the wall, it's going to stick eventually, so. And to be fair, he wasn't exactly getting backed up by his team, so. He was kind of left out, left out to dry there. So Baltimore is running for the hills, and the Alsace is sitting here waiting for us all to give him a broadside so he can blap us. But uh, I'm not planning on doing that anytime soon. Baltimore's decided he's going to give us a broadside, and dispersion looks good. Fatality. There you go. Another citadel and a kill. So I said it was going to get better, and it started to get better all of a sudden. Finally, even I was starting to get worried. I got the wrong video on. So, I was asked versus I was asked. I'm just going to back uh, old Frank 2345 up here while he goes around the corner of this island and uh, make sure that I'm here for him. And you can see the I was actually just sitting here waiting for him to stick his nose out and then he's going to have a go at trying to kill him. And he did some fairly significant damage there, but he hasn't killed him and now we're here and we're both going to shoot at him. This, I've got to tell you, this ship is notoriously difficult for getting serious damage on. I mean, we've got one penetration, one shatter, one over penetration, three bounces. And I mean, the guy's almost, he's barely angled. I wouldn't call it angled. Well, secondary's going to start working him over. He's on fire, uh, and he's got two battleships literally knocking on his door. And oh, there you go. That is the power of the Alsace. So that was a good show. By uh, Frank there, close quarters as well, and this Low Yang hasn't shown himself. 
since being spotted there where I'm highlighting, he's uh, he's either disconnected or he's not really that bothered about his team. So we'll have a long shot on this Bismarck, see if we can't get a bit of damage on this guy. Shooting over the island, obviously not detected, so that's good. He's going to take a torpedo. No, shots neither even got there. Fiji got him. And we're starting to run out of people to kill, which is a bit disappointing. And that low Yang has sat and watched his teammates die and is now capping A. What a scumbag. And that's one of the, well, in my opinion, one of the strongest, well, it's definitely the strongest de uh, destroyer at that tier, if not one of the strongest in the game. And, well, he's on 2,800 health, so it's kind of understandable, but he has got smoke, so it's kind of not. And now Mayan's decided he's going to go and uh, take him on. And it looks like he's going to get it done. Well, I think the low young smoked up, has he? Oh, there you go. Mayan's got him. And we've got a Fletcher. Now he is a threat. So we'll have some shots out on this guy. Two of them definitely look like they're going to hit. Yeah, two overpens for 2400. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but in a destroyer when you're only, uh, you know, you've got a couple of thousand, you know, 10,000, 20,000 health, losing 10% of your uh, health pool that you can't heal back is uh, considerable. And, yeah. To be honest, I never even thought about the low young until we got the top of the torpedo warning, but I took three. I've got damage, damage cons available, so. Can we survive through this? And now the bloody Fletcher's torps are coming this way. And this thing just does not turn. And I mean, does not turn. So, I think we're going to take another one. Yeah, we're going to take another one on the nose. And damage repair is on cooldown. So, we are going to be flooding. Yeah. And that, to be honest, at that point in the game, yeah, it's just, it's over. Really. 180,000 damage, so yeah, not setting the world on fire, are we? Pretty disappointing, to be honest. Uh, we've got a minute for our heal. We've got a minute and ten of flooding time. Yeah, we've only got we've got half of our health left. And there's that Fletcher. Can I get him back? Come on. Nope. What about that one. That looks a bit better. And, well, we'll, we'll take it. Third kill on the board. And just the enemy gas going to go. And we're only down to three ships. We've got me, the Alsace, and the Mayhan left. And I am flooding quickly. 30 seconds still flooding time. I can't repair for 50 seconds, so it's going to stop flooding itself. We can't afford to take another torpedo. 10,000 points of health now. The Alsace has just took torpedoes and he's going to he's gonna flood out. Which was kind of screwed me, to be honest. I was kind of hoping this guy would last, uh, even just to ram him. Um, but he's not going to. And there's the Alsace gone. So it's just me with... And I've managed to heal, literally, before I died. Look at the health. 563, 1,000. So all I can do now... 44,000 health, gas going. Gets me, I'm maybe going to have eight or ten thousand. There's only one thing left to do. Prepare for running speed! And just go for the round. Because I'm not going to kill this guy outright. And he knows it, look, he's turning away. He knows what's going to happen and he can't turn away quick enough. And even the teammates on the, sh on the team are saying, Ram. See, I just shot him straight in the face. Six bounce. And that's a match one for us. Plus obviously 30,000 odd damage, extra added to our total, plus we get a flag for it. So, 126,000 damage, 350,000 credits, we finish second on the team, 4 kills with the same guy, plenty of damage all round. Who can complain? Even my captain's levelled up. So as always guys, I hope you enjoyed that little video, and uh, yeah, there'll be plenty more to come, and I'll see you in the next one.